I could do that all day, but I'm not going to, because i got a story to tell y'all, man, and you will enjoy it, or I will come find you and cut off your dreadlocks. Anyway, my name's Curly Jenkins. Thanks for tuning in. It was a cold day, January 12th, 1985. I know, because I was taking a leak and my ball fro was starting to develop icicles. Anyway, Deborah Brown gave birth to a monster. No, just kidding. It was a beautiful baby girl. I lived one street over on a piece of land with apple trees, pear trees, gardens, and a beautiful three-story mansion. Not really, man. I lived out back while the stupid dog got a hot cot and three meals a day. I lived out back in the dog house. Interested in street signs, I would stare at the street sign on her street for hours at a time. One day I just got tired of staring at the street sign, because quite frankly people were starting to think I was weird and strange. Curious, I walked down the street to see what that strange music was coming out of her window. Looked into the window and a strange boy was there playing with garbage bail kid stickers. So I said, hey. He said, hey, I'm Ray. My brother Gary was there too. They would not let me in, man. So I ventured home and became a crackhead. Just joking, I was only ten, idiot. Finally, after weeks of trying, they let me in. And there she was, this beautiful girl, with burgundy hair, smoking a marble, a special blend. Yeah, right, man. She was just a baby. She crapped in her diaper a lot, too. I helped change her diaper once, and to this day I have no nose hair. She growed and growed, and at the age of three she weighed 100 pounds. Not really. Her mother was a looker. Wow, was all I could say. She smacked her 42 times a day. That was just to get her to burp, you idiot. She had another brother. He was an outstanding member of society. Not then, but later on in life. He was from uh, the Smackaho tribe. Her other sister was a good cook and a flower thief. She had a business called Five Points Florist. Not then, but later on in the story, you moron. As she got older, she eventually had to go to school, man. This was an adventure. She really hated to leave her mother. Can't say I really blame her. I would not want to leave those jugs either. <laughs> See, she was breastfed till she was five. Not really, but really she drank from a bottle full of gin and juice. Not really, she drank milk, idiot. So she started school in the hood. People shooting guns, selling drugs, and all types of ill shit. No, not really, she went to Chapman Elementary. She didn't ever really like school, said it was not for her. Too many kids and the teacher was a nerd. Some dude named Dude the Dude the Third. Anyway, school was not her thing, so she dropped out in the third grade. But they made her go back. Some kind of law or some kind of crap like that, man. She started turning into a little lady. Nice manners and just a delight to be around. Oh, hold on a minute. That was not her. I developed a friendship with her. And she really took to me. For some strange reason, we started hanging out and playing cards and Yahtzee all the time. We played Yahtzee so long one day, I had a dream that night that a big dice was rolling over and over me, hollering, Yahtzee boy, Yahtzee boy. She had a nephew named Michael. We had a lot of fun playing the Sega channel and shooting basketball out back. I would always dunk on their heads. We were never bored, we were inventive, man. We used to play volleyball on the tennis court at Phil Potts Park he had in his backyard. She wasn't that good. I always won. End of that conversation, man. Don't ever bring that up again. Didn't happen that way, though. Oh, sorry about that. One time she was waiting on her mother to bring her a cat, so I planned on aggravating her a little. It didn't happen that way, though, because I ended up leaving and her cat her introduced. 
<laughs> not really. I took her chair, and she could not see the cat as her mother brought it out of the car. She ended up scratching the blood out of my arm, man. Hell, I thought Wolverine was an X-Man, not a 12-year-old girl. Also, this one time, she by herself tied her nephew Michael up and ate pizza in front of him. I would not eat the pizza. It was too cruel of a thing for me to do. She used to throw diapers on the roof of the house next door. Guess who had to go and get them off of the roof, man? She, not me. I just waited till a strong wind blew. Not really. I got them down for her because it was her, my brat, my little brat. Get your own brat, man. She liked to go skating every Friday night. Sometimes I would pick her up. Her friend, her cousin, Misty, would be with her. They laughed and called me stupid and threw rocks at me. Mean little boogers they were. I'd like to pick them apart, man. Still, she had problems at school. She was not sociable, and her clothes were a bit much. So she grew very tired of everybody's shit and decided to drive a bulldozer through the school. <laughs> not really. She just started skipping school and being mean and a confused teenager. So eventually they threatened to lock her up at Alcatraz for not going to school. Yeah, right, man. They, didn't, they did threaten her mother that she would be locked up if this girl did not go to school. So they came up with a crazy plan, man to keep from going to jail. They asked me to marry her, and then she could quit school. Man, hell no, I said. Her breath stuck like malt liquor and bloods. Her teeth looked like charcoal. Not really. I said yes, so we went to the courthouse and got married. It was a horrible marriage. She cussed and threw knives and forks all the time. No, actually, it was an excellent marriage. Best I ever had, guess because I have never been married before and still haven't. Oh yeah, by the way, she was going out with some dude at the time. I was heartbroken and started washing windows at street lights. Eventually, she had her first child. He looked like an alien. Makes sense, though. I used to see a spaceship hover over her house. Actually, he was human. He turned out just to be a little wired up, out of control. He was a little monster. Oh, and by the way, I spent a lot of time with the girl while she was pregnant. Fed her, bathed her, brushed her nappy hair, helped her grill out. We used the corn on her feet for vegetables. Not really, but I did feed the girl a lot. The girl took those awful vitamins. Look like alien pills or something. Our favorite hangout was Chuck E. Cheese. The boy enjoyed it. I sang with the band. And that's all the time I got to tell you the story of the girl this time. But join in next time and I'll tell you more. Thank you very much. It's been old Kelly Jack of my yeah. This is this is the this is the story of a girl. The story's over, man. Get your own story of a girl, okay? Get out of here.